Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, your boy, Yuma Cone. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I am so excited and thrilled to be announcing this new thing that's coming out soon. A brand new Walking Dead game. And I could not be any more excited. So let's jump straight into it. Right, okay guys. So yesterday, it was announced and put out to the world that a brand new Walking Dead game is coming out. And guys, this looks really interesting. And it is called The Walking Dead Destinies. Which is basically, it's like Marvel's What If. You know in Marvel, uh, they did the animated show where like if Tony Stark was played by Thor and all this sort of stuff where you can change certain things like a What If. Then this is exactly what this is. Basically, you can change uh, some of the scenarios within the game. Now, of course, the game is based off season one to four of the show, which is peak television, by the way. Absolutely peak television. And I'm just so excited, of course, because you can change certain things. So let's say season two, instead of you killing Shane, you kill Rick instead. And then Shane becomes the leader of our group that we've known throughout the show. Which I think that's amazing. So it does say here, you begin playing as Rick Grimes and visit key locations from the show. Such as the Green Farm, the Prison, Woodbury and Atlanta. Which this is just going to be fantastic, guys. Now we do have some screenshots, but we do have a video here. Now I'm not sure whether I can play this or not. So I'm just not going to risk it because I don't want to get a strike or anything. So I'm just not going to risk playing this video. But I will link it down below, guys. And it does look really good. Okay, the graphics aren't exactly the best, let's be honest here. And of course, the voice actors are not the actors from the show themselves. But we didn't even know this game was going to be a thing. So we can't really complain too much about the voice actors not actually being like Andrew Lincoln, Norman Reedus, Lauren Gohan. And all this sort of good stuff. We can't really complain about that because we didn't even know it was happening. So this is coming out on Steam, on PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. But we do have a couple of screenshots down here, okay? So, of course, we have the iconic doors, the Don't Dead open inside. Beautiful. Everyone loves this. Fantastic. And then, of course, here is the green farm. Beautiful. And then, of course, we do have Shane and Rick, like I said. So if you want to kill Rick instead of killing Shane, you can do that in this game. And it's going to be fantastic. And then... Of course, we do have Michonne without her katana because from the picture, which I'll put on the screen right now, I believe it was the governor with Michonne's katana, which is like a what if scenario, which is kind of cool, I guess, which is kind of cool. So moving on, we do have, of course, I believe this is Rick. I mean, it definitely looks like Rick in the prison. So this is going to be really cool, guys. And as you guys already know, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. I absolutely love this franchise and the settings from season one to four were fantastic. So this is going to be really fun. And then, of course, for the final picture, I'm guessing this is Maggie. Of course, we can't really see her that well. But I'm guessing just by the clothing that this is going to be Maggie. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, this is the new game. And it's going to retail for $49. Which I don't think is too bad, considering most games these days are like $70 to $80. It's not too bad. So it does say that Destiny's will include over a dozen characters from the AMC TV show. Including Shane, Michonne, Carol, Daryl, and the aforementioned Rick and more. Each character has their own unique abilities and you'll need to manage your resources, including the limited amount of weapons, you know, bats, katanas, revolvers, shotguns and crossbows and ammo. So that's pretty much it, guys. But I cannot wait, guys, because we've not really had a really good Walking Dead game. To be honest with you, we've not really had a really good one. Of course, we had the Telltale ones in the past and we did have some on the mobile as well. They were pretty fun to play. But we've not really had anything amazing. Like we had Overkill's The Walking Dead. That flopped and died on like day one. That just died. But man, them trailers for Overkill's The Walking Dead game. That was some of the best trailers I have ever seen in my entire life. They got me so excited. And then the game came out and it was like, this isn't what I ordered. This is not what we ordered. And the game's dead now. You can't even play it. I'm pretty sure they turned the servers off. That's dead, okay? And then what else did we have? We had Survival Instinct, which was on like PlayStation, Xbox 360, and I think the Wii as well. Uh, that game, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good, you know? It wasn't the best game, but it definitely wasn't the worst game I've ever played. It was kind of playable, but also really clunky, and it was kind of an obvious money grab, of course, for Daryl. It is what it is, but apart from the Telltale games, we've not really had many good Walking Dead games, and I hope that this... We'll change that. And like I said, guys, okay, the graphics don't look that amazing, okay? The graphics are not like a triple A game. They don't look incredible, but you can tell that this is Shane and you can tell that this is Rick, okay? You can tell the characters when you see their faces. So, guys, I am just really happy to play this. And 
and I cannot wait. So, I mean, hey, I'm just saying, you know, at Game Mill, if you want to hook your boy up with a code or something, I, I can... I can play it. Maybe get some streams on the go. Maybe some gameplay. I mean, you're probably not watching this video, but if you are and you want to hook my boy up, then feel free to slide in my DMs on Twitter at NotYumicos. Feel free. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say no. Let's see, yeah, guys. I cannot wait for this. I hope this is going to be really fun. And of course, season one to four, it's so awesome. Of course, you've got the governor. And then you've got the green farm, Atlanta, and, and guys, it's just going to be awesome. So I hope that this is a huge success, because if it is, they could then do season 7 to 8, and then after that, they could do 9 to 11. And it would just be awesome, and hopefully, if the game's really good, then they can do more, and of course, they can improve the graphics, and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's it for me today. What do you think about this game, and are you picking it up, slash are you looking forward to it, or whatever. But yeah, guys, of course, that's it for me today. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and of course, until next time, I will catch you all later. Uh, goodbye.